<laughs> they may use tree, but those are just bones in America. Nice trees. <laughs> yes. You can see it, but no one is speaking. Yeah, because they have a house. Indians don't have the house. No, even those who have a house. What about the mosquitoes? Nice they like to sit there and then they see. They use automobiles though? What do they do for these guys? And these trees are not trees, Maharaj, the big ones. I have seven big ones mm. that gives hundreds upon hundreds of good nuts. And this is uh, Shimate Maharaj. This was the first garden. Even even the non devotees when they come, like today, one man who is building the road, he came. He said, "Oh, you have very nice garden." <laughs> But there are quite a few people who don't have houses. But they live in but Calcutta, the where there's no trees. So much gold, also. So much, so many ants. Oh, too many ants. <laughs> <laughs> and they all came from South America. <laughs> yes. They came on, on the bar on the ship with fruit. Because when they sent fruit, no. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there was no ants. Yes, here. no ants. Forty it's years ago, no ants in Florida, and now uh -huh. everywhere. Really? Yeah, and they came yeah. from fire South ants. America. Yeah, the fire ants. ants. The fire ants. The fire yeah, they ants. had a South deep America. Yeah. America, oh. South America. <laughs> They're all immigrants, huh? Yeah. <laughs> really? <clears throat> immigrants. <laughs> you should not have this plant. This is very aggressive. Oh, it's aggressive. Did you show them the fire flowers? No, no, I do. These flowers are amazing. I don't know. But they, they say the flowers, Maharaj, are from... They, uh, Krishna also used this the, 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 the flowers, they say. They told me in Brindavan, it's part of the... How do you call it? Vajajantik? Mala? Oh. And that's one of the wild flowers. Yeah, there's so much of all over the forest. In general, how did you bring all these Many of them, like this one. This That's is nice. also. Awesome. You know this one? They made the ladies use it in the hair. Look at this one, Maharaj. This flower. See, see, a lot of seeds. Yes. Every time we go, we keep we bring seed, hide them. <laughs> Amazing. I have right now. So many colors. Right now, I have papaya from Mayapur. You know the yellow papaya? Very sweet. It's already growing. Um, yeah. I started that was the description of the trees. Last night. Yeah. And now, yeah. 
Some of those people get tall way back there. They have outside the temple. Yes. 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 We don't have Jagannath. <laughs> but that Lord Nishwing, huh? comes from Jagannath Puri. The one Indian Brahmin from Jagannath Temple, he said that a few years ago a branch fell off from Siddha Bakul and he carved. should be inside. We'll bring him in. We'll bring him in. <laughs> we'll bring him in. Shouldn't be outside. Okay, we'll bring him inside. Okay. <laughs> that's why. That's why we have it in the port. It's inside. It's inside. It's inside. Yes. <laughs> But that's why I was thinking you know, in my airport they have it outside, so I was thinking if we have it in a porch, maybe it's all right. <laughs> you have to ask the proxy with your phone. Maybe proxy you know, is not You've been all right? Well, uh, this is your you seat. liking your stay? Yes, yes. <laughs> See that now? How long are you going to stay? Oh. <laughs> How long are you going to stay in Russia? Yes, three more days. Oh, it's going to be. Are you going to a lecture? Yes, yes. Good preaching, Mark. Yes. <laughs> Yes. My daughter took this picture, you can see the flowers. Don't find me there. Yes, it's from there, from that yeah. wall to that wall. Wow. Like Even if it's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to sit in Maharaj, you can sit here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all the paintings are real paintings from mm -hmm. Raghur Raj Puri. Mm -hmm. That's from Thailand. I bought it for my Ram Diri. They actually <laughs> use board, I didn't find it. That's what they say, yes, the aborigines they use. Very nicely carved. This whole house is a museum. Dorka Shila, Giridaj Maharaj, and Ram Shila. And right here, Bauna <laughs> And I have a dopey situation. The Shingha Dev is the one Brahmin from Jaina Temple. He said that his car from Siddha Bakul branch. So, you know, the Maybe they tell everybody this. Probably, but in the Dungna Maharaj, he, he made it for in the Dungna Maharaj. In the Dungna Maharaj bought two. So I got this one. Which is that? The small one? Yeah. This, this is uh, Udo Pisikrishna from South India. He, we put Srila Prabhupada in front of deity, that is the philosophy. Guruji should be in front of deity. <laughs> 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 
Okay. 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 Yeah, we'll be here. We'll be here. Please sit down, Maharaj. Maharaj, please sit down. Do you want to share some juice? Please, everyone, sit down. No, le puso con. Oh, Maharaj, please sit here. Okay, I'll get you. I'll get you. No. You sing, Sigran? Do you sing? Mahamantra? Sing some Mahamantra. These, they grow all these flowers. You want it? The garden. You want to sit here and play? Yeah, all the flowers from our garden, Maharaj. Mm -hmm. garden. Yes, we offer yeah. to Sila Prabhupada first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Including those, Maharaj. Those very beautiful flowers mm -hmm. from this garden. <laughs> Florida now has come due to flowers. No, eh? Florida. It sounds like it, Florida. doesn't it? Florida is actually Spanish. Florida used to belong to Spain, so the name Florida means full of flowers in Spanish. That's what he's saying. Yeah, right. So he's totally right. The Spanish sold Florida to the U.S. many, many years ago. It used to belong to Spain. That's what I was thinking for the Russian for the So I want to say just a couple of words. I want to welcome every one of you for coming, especially for Maharaj and the two Maharaj and Radio and Prabhu. So we're very happy. We hardly ever have a program at home. But when we were in India, we begged Maharaj, next time you come to a large Maharaj, please you have to come. And he said, yes, I will come. So today we invite a few people because house is not very big. But we are very grateful that Maharaj and his brother are visiting. Thank you very much.
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate 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 Vasudevaya Sri Prajapati Ruvacha Sri Prajapati Ruvacha Namaha Paraya Vitatha Nubhutaye Namaha Paraya Vitatha Nubhutaye Namaha Namaha Paraya Paraya Vitatha Vitatha Nubhutaye Nubhutaye Namaha Paraya Vitatha Nubhutaye Namaha Paraya Vitatha Nubhutaye Guna Traya Bhasa Nimita Bandhave 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 Adrishta Dhamne Guna Tattva Buddhi Bhi 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 Nivrita Mana Yadadhe Swayam Bhuve 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 Namaha paraya vitatha nubhutaye Namaha paraya vitatha nubhutaye Unatraya bhasa nimita bandhave Unatraya bhasa nimita bandhave Madrishta dhamne Gunatattva buddhi bhi Adrishtadhamne Gunatattva buddhi bhi Nivrita mana yadadhe swayam bhuve Nivrita mana yadadhe swayam bhuve Shri Prajapati Ruvacha Shri Prajapati Ruvacha Namaha Paraya Vitatha Nubhutaye Namaha Paraya Vitatha Nubhutaye Guna Traya Bhasa Nimitta Bandhave Guna Traya Bhasa Nimitta Bandhave Adrishta Dhamne Guna Tattva Buddhi Bhi Adrishta Dhamne Guna Tattva Buddhi Bhi Nivrita mana yadadhe swayam bhuve Nivrita mana yadadhe swayam bhuve Shri Prajapati Ruvacha Shri Prajapati Ruvacha Nama Prayavita Anu Bhūtaye Namaparāya Vitatāta Bhūtaye Gunātraya Bhāsne Mita Bandhave Gunātraya Bhāsne Mita Bandhave Adrishya Dhamne Gunatattva Buddhi Bhīr Adrishya Dhamne Gunatattva Buddhi Bhīr Nivritta Manāya Dade Sva Svayam Bhuvem Vrita Mahana Yadadhe Svayam Bhuvem Sri 
Prajapati Ruvacha Everybody gets the same torture. Shri Prajapati Ruvacha Shri Prajapati Ruvacha Nama Paraya Vitata Nubutaye Nama Paraya Vitata Nubutaye Gunatraya Bhasya Nimitta Bhandave Gunatraya Bhasya Nimitta Bhandave Adrishta Damne Gunatatva Budhibir Adrishta Damne Gunatatva Budhibir Nivritta manaya dhadhe svayam bhuve Nivritta manaya dhadhe svayam bhuve Sri Prayapati Ruvacha Nama Paraya Vita Namaparayamu, 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 Namapar
First he said that when Prachetas came out of the ocean, they saw the earth was full of trees, so they became angry and they were burning trees. So the predominating deity of the moon and the master of all trees and plants, Som, 
appeared in front of them and he pacified, he instructed Prachetas, don't become angry, you subdue your anger, just you should please the Supreme Personality of God and you should see the Super Soul residing in everyone's heart. And they offered one girl for them as their wife, Marisa. And all the ten sons of King Prachin Bharhi, the Prachetas, married with that girl according to the principles of Dharma. And, he, and they begot one son named Daksh Prajapati. Now we are starting today what Daksh Prajapati did in this creation. Jatha sasarja bhutani dakcho duhitri vatsalaha retasa manasa chaiva tanmama vahita hasnu. So there was Swami continued, please hear from me with great attention how Prajapati Daksh was very affectionate to his daughters, created different types of living entities through his semen and through his mind. Lord Brahma created so many living entities through his sons. And the most important son in creation, in creating the living entity, is Daksh Prajapati. So Sukhdeva Goswami now starts how Lord Brahma created this material, and created the living entity within this material world. Sukhdeva Goswami is saying, please listen from me. Please listen from me. Mame Srinu. But Avahita, with attention. Maharaj Parikshit was hearing Srimad Bhagavatam very attentively. But still, Sukhdev Goswami said, Hear with attention. Avahita Srinu. From me. Daksh Prajapati was very affectionate to his daughters, Duhitri Vatsava. Sripar Siddhar Swami has written that uh, all the sons of Prajapati Daksh became <coughs> renounced a monk. They did not marry and they, they did not become householders. So, we can say that uh, Daksh Prajapati was, Daksh Prajapati lost his all sons. And uh, after Daksh Prajapati, the dynasties of his doubters went on and on. And no one was born from his any son. So, he is called here Duhitri Vatsa. He was very affectionate to his daughters. Here, here it is not said Sutavatsal. All his sons left home. So. Daksh Prajapati was very affectionate to his daughters. And please listen how Daksh Prajapati created living entities. Sukhdeva Goswami continues. Continued. Mansaiva Srajat Purbam Prajapati Rima Prajaha Deva Surmanusya Dim Navasthal Jalautasa. In the beginning, first of all, Prajapati Daksha created living entities with his mind. Mansaiva Asrijat. Asrijat means created, and Mansa means the mind by mind, through his mind. But 
देव असुर मनुष्य नभस्थल जल प्रजा सर्ग प्रजापति मास्टर ऑफ ऑल लिविंग इन टीटीज प्रजापति दक्ष सा दैट लिविंग इन टीटीज वेयर नॉट इन फ्रीजिंग सो मच इन दिस मैटर ओवर ऑल द वर्ल्ड वाज ऑलमोस्ट वैकेंट इम्प्टी ऑफ लिविंग इन टीटीज सो ही थॉट इन हिज माइंड हाउ टू इंक्रीज लिविंग इन टीटीज इन दिस वर्ल्ड मटेरियल वर्ल्ड सो ही वेंट टू द very famous mountain bindhya bindhya parvat is near banaras bindhya pada he went to the feet of bindhya mountain pada means feet it means uh, he did not climb on bindhya chal bindhya parvat in the mountain but just uh, where there was the beginning of bindhya mountain there was a very famous tirth sarovar he performed there very austere very severe austerities the trag marsanam nama tirtham pap haram param there was a tirth a reservoir of water called agh marsan पाप हरम परम इफ एनी वन टेक्स बाथ इन दैट सरोवर कुंड इज बिरेफ्ट ऑफ ऑल काइंड ऑफ सिंफुल एक्टिविटीज इट इज नॉट सफर दैट इज कॉल अग मार्सन स्टील दैट तीर्थ इज देयर अग मार्सन दैट अग मार्सन तीर्थ is a near in the actual just agmarsan uh, <coughs> tirth is not separate from mother gangas ganga it is within ganga but there is very big kund inside ganga that is called agmarsan dash prajapati performed my austerity is there to please the supreme personality of god tapsa to sayad hari and actually he satisfied the supreme personality of god by his tapasa tapasya <coughs> the supreme personality of god had had is always pleased with tapasya not with bhog no one has pleased him. krishna by bhog bhog means enjoyment das daksh prayat what daksh prajapati did in agmarsan tirth astausid hans guhyena bhagavantam adhokshaka tubhyam tad vidhasyami kasya tu tusya jatahari o maharaj parikshit please listen then to hear it i am speaking to you how daksh prajapati satisfied the supreme personality of god he he was chanting one mantra that stotra he was singing always that is hans guhya prayer he was praying the supreme personality of god and repeating the same stotra it is very famous stotra in shrimad bhagavatam hans guhya stuti hans means pure and guhya means confidential hans actually means god himself shri krishna is hans this one and guhya means he is hidden 
in this material world. He is everywhere, but still no one knows him. He is in the heart of every living entity, and he is even present in the atom. Andam tarastam, parmal chayam tarastam. He is present in parmal chay. He is present even in atoms. and he is present in brahmand or in the heart of every living entity but still he is good <coughs> he is good and one can question that if a krishna resides in this material world everywhere so it means uh, he is attached to material enjoyment <coughs> that is why he is residing <laughs> otherwise what is the purpose But actually, the purpose is given in Simad Bhagavad Gita and Simad Bhagavatam also. Sarvasya chaham hirdi sannivista ha matta smritir gyan mapo namsa. I reside in everyone's heart just to give them remembrance, forgetfulness, and knowledge. Matta smritir gyan mapo namsa. Krishna has never said that I reside in the heart of a living entity to test or to enjoy material happiness or this that. Never. He is never affected. He is never attracted by any kind of uh, happiness found in this material world. So he is hans, pure, sud, uncontaminated, uncontaminated. The living entity is contaminated here in this material world. Always, always desiring something to eat, something to see, something to touch, something to smell, something to hear. He always desires. The living entity is uh, also called Hans, but uh, now he he has become like crow. <laughs> Not Hansa. <clears throat> Any person who becomes purified in this material world by cultivating the process of devotional service, he is also called Hans, and even sometimes Param Hans. But uh, in 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 India, we have seen that almost every sannyasi is addressed as Hans, Param Hans, Maharaj. Paramahansa. We also <coughs> say that Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Paribraj Kacha. Paramahansa. Hams means swan. Swan has a special quality, special qualification that if we mix water and milk together. The Hans uh, drinks the milk, even that is mixed in the water, and he rejects water. So in this way, those who understand Krishna in this material world, and those who reject material things and only accept the spiritual things. Those who accept spiritual life, they are called hams, swan, very expert. This material world is made of two kinds of prakriti: para prakriti and apara prakriti. Apara prakriti means uh, gross mat- materials, just like uh, earth, water, fire. air and ether and everything is made of these five elements so this is called matter <coughs> everywhere see matter even our body what is our body this is made of matters and we are very minute very ya ka chhota ko kya kahte hain in minute infinite sun Like some. In, 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 in,
good argument that there is no living entity inside body. Because it is almost nothing in this material, only matter from nail to head, everywhere there is matter. <laughs> but still spirit is there, soul is there. We cannot see with our material eyes, but it is there. That is why this consciousness of the spirit is spread all over the body. Due to the presence of the soul, all senses work. So <coughs> this material world is made of two energies of the Supreme Personality of God, para and apara. Para prakriti means superior or spiritual energy. The living entity is also spiritual. Everywhere there are spirits and spirits all everywhere, souls in every body, even in grass, insects or demigods or in human beings. Everywhere is Krishna. So everywhere there is pra para prakriti. Also, actually the king of uh, the material world is a queen, he is an opera prakriti, <laughs> inferior energy. So those uh, who are uh, Hans or transcendentalists, they pick up spiritual things and they reject material. Just like in this material world, Tulsi plant is spiritual. So Vaishnavas accept that Tulsi plant and they reject tobacco. They do not like Those who are very attached in this material world, they can accept any flower or any uh, leaves, anything. But Vaishnavas give so much respect to Tulsi. Why? Because Tulsi is related with the Supreme Personality of God. And there are so many places also who are, which are spiritual, just like Vrindavan, Jagannath Puri, Haridwar, Mayapur, Dwarka. These places are connected, ever connected with the Supreme Personality of God. So although there are so many inconveniences, still Vaishnavas love Vrindavan and Jagannath Puri. This is called uh, adopting spiritual life. And those who like Vrindavan, Mayapur, Naudit, and those who are interested in devotional service, they naturally reject material things. They do not like to enjoy. So they are called uh, Hans. And among them who are super fast, they are and uh, super much, they are called Paramahans. Generally, in Shastra, when we utter this Hans word, this is for God Himself. Because God has created this material world, but uh, He is not interested in enjoying this material world. And living entity is always interested in material world, always. So much attached to any person or anything or any place. So many persons, so much attached, just like uh, I have seen in India, so many persons try to come to America. They think that if I go to America, I, that is very nice. But uh, this consciousness is not very good consciousness, actually. So they like uh, any material place for their enjoyment. But those who are really Mahatma or Paramahams, they do not like. And uh, they like anything spiritual. So Krishna is a Hans or Paramahams, 
he has created, he has, he is maintaining, he is the controller, he is everything. He is master, he is father, he is mother, he is witness. Everything is Krishna, but still he is not attached to this material world. And in this Hansa Gohiya prayer, this quality of Krishna is described mostly. How Krishna has created this material world, but still he is not attached at all. <coughs> it is said that Krishna ha- creates this material world. He maintains this, but uh, he annihilates also. <laughs> we do not see that yet. When a person creates or begets any child or creates any house, constructs any house, he himself destroys. <laughs> no. But Krishna is the destroyer also. It means he is not attached at all. He has created this material world only for our sake, only for living entities. Otherwise he is fully satisfied in his Vaikunt Dham, in Golok. He has nothing to do with this material world. Sometimes he comes here, but uh, his tour or his travel to this material world is not uh, meant for his pleasure actually. He has said in Srimad Bhagavad Gita that sometimes I come here, jada jada hai dharma se glani bhavati. When there is glani, decline of religious principles, then I come here. What is purpose? Why you come again and again? The Lord said that paritranaya sadhunam vinasaya chaduskritam dharma sanstapna tae sambhavani jugeshma. I come here to protect sadhus and to kill demons or subdue demons and to establish dharma. I come here. God never says that uh, in Vaikuntha I am depressed, so sometimes I come to material world and I feel some relaxed. And he said, I come here to protect sadhus, to kill demons, and to establish the principles of Dharma. When there is establishment of dharma, then I go. God does not like to come here actually. When demi gods pray Krishna at the shore of Shir Samudra, Oh Lord, please come, please come. Without your help we cannot do anything. Even Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, Lord Indra, they pray the Supreme Personality of God. Please come, please come. We are your servant, we are executing your order, we are abiding your order, we are doing according to your order, but we have no power to control a demon like Hiranyakasipu or Kans. Please come, please come. So he comes. And when dharma is established here, all the demons are killed, and sadhura, sadhus are protected, the same demigods, again they pray, Oh my Lord, now everywhere dharma is established, everything is okay, and if you like you can return your abode. <laughs> but please come, when you go to Vaikuntha, please come through our residence. We, we want to do your reception. They have prayed in Srimad Bhagavatam. So God is not interested here at all. Not interested. Just like we are not interested to visit a toilet again and again. That is not the place of enjoyment actually. But there is some necessity so we go to toilet. Otherwise what is need to visit? <laughs> This is nothing, this material world is nothing actually for Krishna. 
He has everything spiritual, transcendental, in my court. Everywhere, Swarup Shakti, Chit Shakti, spiritual energy. In Vaikuntha, in Golok, everything is spiritual. Trees are spiritual, even sand is spiritual, land is spiritual, water is spiritual. Everything transcendental, spiritual. So the enjoyer of the spiritual world, why will come here? What is need? But we are interested in this material world, so God gives some facility. Okay, if you want to enjoy, enjoy according to my order. So he creates, but uh, he is not at all interested. That is why Krishna is called Hamsa. And in this prayer, his this special quality is described again and again. This is Hamsa Guhya prayer. The Daksh Prajapati is reciting this prayer again and again. Many thousands of years, he just read again and again this verse. Just like we are chanting Maha Mantra again and again, every day, every day. So he prayed, he uttered this prayer. Namaha Paraya Vitatha Nubhutaye Guna Trayabhasa Nimita Bandhave Adrishta Dhamne Guna Tattva Buddhi Bheed Nibrita manaya dadhe swayam bhuve. There are so many verses in this prayer. Very nice. First of all, Daksh Prajapati is offering his prayer, his uh, offering his respectful obeisances to the Supreme Personality of God. Namah dadhe, namah dadhe namanam karomi. I am offering my obeisances, oh my Lord. How are you? He is describing the qualities of the Supreme Personality of God. First of all, Daksh Prajapati said, Paraya. Para means Sarvottam. Sarvottam means the Supreme Person. Or Para means transcendence. You are transcendental to the modes of material nature and any material categories you are. You are transcendental to material world. This is called par. First quality, Dakshpanjapati is describing. <coughs> Krishna is everything is spiritual, everything is transcendental. He he has his body, not body, but you can say swarup. Saru, eh? There is a difference between soul and body in this material world, but Krishna has no soul different from body. His whole body is the soul, Paramatma, Chinma, Chit Shakti. So he is Par. He has his mother, he has his father, he has everything, but everything is transcendental. And he is the supermost person, supreme person, supreme personality. That is why he is called Para. Siddhar Swami has written the meaning of Paraya, Sarvottamaya. He is the Uttam, he is the best of all us persons. In every regard, in beauty, in wealth, in knowledge, in renunciation, opulence, in everything he is power, he is the supreme. Namah paraya, or vitathana bhuta, your knowledge, your chit-shakti is of vitatha. Of vitatha means uh, just like our knowledge, our everything, our position, finishes after some time, but uh, Krishna Chit Shakti, Krishna's spiritual potency never ceases 
ceases to be, never ceases to be, permanent, eternal. His knowledge, his sankalp, if he thinks something to do, it is done automatically. There is no any uh, obstacles in performing his desires. But uh, we face so many hindrances. The hindrances. Hindrances. So many. If we plan, there is every chance to be frustrated. Every chance. But uh, Krishna is of vitath anubhuti. Anubhuti means knowledge, consciousness, or anubhuti means sankalp, something, some desire to do, or chit shakti, spiritual potency. Is of vitath. A means not. And B, B means uh, just opposite. Uh, tatha means uh, fact, actual fact. Or vitath means uh, fact, the truth. Suppose uh, if we have given, suppose I have given some program to reach to any place at 8 o'clock. Sometimes it is seen that I am trying to reach at the proper time, but sometimes very late. And what is the excuse? Oh, traffic was there. So this is a, this sankalpa is not abhita. This is bhitat, virat, failure. But God's plan, God's desire never fails. Never fails. Always true. And Krishna said to demigods, I will descend on the earth in the house of Vasudeva from the womb of Mother Devaki. Don't fear of concern. Don't fear. So he took birth. He appeared from the womb of Mother Devaki. But if, uh, suppose any human being, if he says that I am going to take birth in that family, or this family, very rich family, and very educated family, how he can take birth? We can die by our own effort, but we cannot take birth. We don't understand how to take birth. But uh, Krishna appears wherever He wants, wherever He desires, He can appear. He just appeared from the pillar to kill Hiranyakasi. Unexpected avatar. <laughs> Suddenly this avatar was. No one knew. But he appeared and he killed that demon. In this way, his manorat, his plan, his desire are fact, factual, always true. Or vitat anubhuta, gunatraya abhas nimitta bandhave. Gunatraya abhas means living entity. Living entity is always busy with three modes of material nature, is entangled here. So he is called gunatraya bhas, and nimitta means maya, the external energy. Krishna is the controller of both. He is the controller of maya, and also he is controller of all living entities. That is why he is called Ishwar, controller. Maya is controlling every living entity. Krishna has said in Bhagavad Gita that this energy of mind, it is very difficult to surpass this Maya. But any person who surrenders to me, he overcomes this Maya. So this is the energy of Krishna. Very, very powerful, very powerful. And Maya is giving birth or maintaining or 
annihilating all living entity. Every living entity is under the control of Maya. But uh, even that Maya is under under the control of Krishna and all living entities under his control. This is called Gunatraya Bhas Nimit Bandhave. Adrishth Dhanne Gunatattva Buddhi Vir. Gunatattva Buddhi Vir. Those who think that Guna, the material things are all in all, they think that material things are eternal and they are the source of happiness. They are foolish persons and so they are called Guna Tattva Buddhi. In Guna, in matter, they have Tattva Buddhi. Tattva Buddhi means this understanding that this Guna, this matter will make me happy. They think that this is real thing. This is real thing. Eating, sleeping, wearing something, and hearing one's praise, this. They think that this is real thing. And sometimes they, who have seen a Vaikuntha? There is no Vaikuntha. Everything is here. So eat, drink, and be there. There is no life after death. They are foolish persons. They have a, this understanding that matter is everything, the real world is everything. So you, can, you should eat as much as you can eat, you should sleep as much as you can sleep. <laughs> like so much. Very interested in material world. Because they have this bhija, gunatattva buddhi. Those who have gunatattva buddhi, those who think that material world is everything, by then your swarup is never seen. Adrishta dhamana. Dham means swarup. You are never understood by those persons who are too much interested in material world. They cannot understand you. Adrishta dhamana guna tattva buddhi bhir. Nibritamana, because you are all limited. Any material measurement cannot measure you. Any material mind or intelligence or cannot measure. It is said in Brahma Sangita, Srila Prabhupada is quoting here, Panthastu koti satvat sarasam brahma pragamyo vayo rathapi manaso muni pungavana. The vyasti jat prapad simne vichinta tatve govinda vadi purusanta manam vajani. Muni pungavana, those who are best among all munis, manan sil, their mind is very, very pure and very fast. By the force of mind, pure mind or wind, no one can reach the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Their reach or the force of mind, they are under his prapad simni. Prapad simni means this material world. This is called ek pad, and by count is called three pad. Even the purified mind of munis cannot go beyond the material nature. They think when they think anything, they think material. Krishna is beyond the material nature. So nivrit mana man means measure. No one can measure how beautiful is Krishna and how wealthy he has, how knowledge he has, unlimited beauty, unlimited knowledge, unlimited everything and transcendental. Then another question arises, then how one can realize God if God is beyond Prakriti, beyond the reach of senses, beyond everything, how he one can see. Prajapati Daksha is saying Swayam Bhuve. He manifests himself in the heart of a pure devotee. He manifests himself. When he is pleased by the devotional service, he himself gives darshan. And so a devotee understands him. But devotees 
have no power to see Krishna, to realize Krishna, but uh, by the power of devotional service, God appears in their heart, in their eyes, in their ears. They can touch Krishna, they can see Krishna, they can eat with Krishna, they can play with Krishna. So, Swayam Bhuve, he himself appears when he is pleased with devotees. Otherwise, by any material qualification, one cannot understand Krishna. It is very difficult to understand him. What I can do, I can only offer my respectful obeisances to you, Daksh Prajapati I am offering only obeisances. Please be pleased with me. Be satisfied. I am your devotee. I am your servant, O oh, Krishna. In this way, Daksh Prajapati performed prayer. This prayer is very long. So now I stop here. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> Maharaj, do you call this is going to be uh, for tomorrow, for the class? Mm. Uh, so should we take Prashad then? Yes? yes. Ah, take care. Just, <laughs> if you ask anything, you ask. Now, there's one thing is that Daksha, he was very envious of Shiva, and then he got his head. Uh, and now he's very much more religious. And yes, devotee man. actually. Huh? Devotee actually. So he, before was he devotee or not? No, he was devotee. But now he's more advanced. No, but uh, right. when sometimes great personality also offend, do something wrong. Daksh Prajapati was very exalted personality, but uh, he was not giving respect to Lord Shiva. He was thinking that he is father-in-law of Shiva, so Shiva should offer obeisances always. Once Lord Shiva did not offer obeisances to him, so he became angry. <laughs> And also Lord Shiva did not compromise. <laughs> he is the controller of Tamau so he... <laughs> But Lord Shiva punished him. But after that also, when Daksh Prajapati regained his life with the head of goat, he performed the same jankya that was disturbed by Lord Shiva. <laughs> Even Jajman was killed and all the attendants were beaten too much by Shiva Sena. So much by the army of Lord Shiva. But still he performed Jagya and God himself appeared. In seventh canto, in seventh chapter of fourth canto, he so many persons <coughs> offer it up the prayers to Krishna. And Lord, Lord Vishnu instructed Daksh Prajapati, I know you are my devotee, but you should not distinguish between me and Lord Shiva. Just like a person does not distinguish between the limbs of his body. Actually, no one thinks that my leg, his feet is inferior and not necessary, <laughs> head is very necessary or hand is more important, leg is not important or hand is not important. He loves every part of body. So these devi gods are my parts, my limbs, my young. So you should not disrespect them. Lord Shiva was also standing there. The Supreme Personality of Godhead was instructing Daksh Prajapati. After that, Daksh Prajapati gave up his body and got another body. He is devotee, he is doing everything by the order of the Supreme Personality of God. But suppose, even we see in this material world, 
Suppose there is a father, he has two, three, four sons. And without his permission, if a sadhu comes and takes away his one son, only one son, without his permission, then we can understand that the father, father will be so much annoyed by this behavior. And Narad Muni taught his 11,000 sons <laughs> to become Babas, <laughs> not to accept household life. They know. He did not leave one son. <laughs> why he will not become high? Why he would not become angry? <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> so he cursed Narad Muni. But still, Daksprajapati is very dear to Krishna. In some of the purports, in the, it says that he's a Gani, other times a Brahmana, sometimes it says he's Chatriya. No, he's Brahman. He thinks that Narad Muni is spoiled his sons. <laughs> that was plan of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He personally instructed Daksh Prajapati in this after this prayer, and Bhagavan appeared before Daksh Prajapati and he said, please brigade children. Maharaj, what was the curse to Narada Muni? Narada that Narada Muni cannot stay one place and more longer and he cannot become Grihastha. <laughs> Sometimes Grihasthas think that those persons who have no house, nothing, they are useless actually. Their life is their life is spoiled. So he cursed that you cannot stay one place longer. And Srila Prabhupada has said, that I am in the line of uh, Narad Muni, so the Chaj Saab curse is affecting me. I also cannot uh, stay one place, one the next year. <laughs> and Srila Prabhupada has, has said that I like to stay one place for translation of Srimad Bhagavatam, but that curse is affecting me. <laughs> because I am in that problem. <laughs> and that was a boon for Narad Muni actually. No attachment, no children, no wife, no house, no paying bills, no mortgage, nothing. <laughs> Seven days here, two days there. <laughs> yes. Just Grihastha's feed also, they give Dakshina also. So no any chinta, no any care, just wandering and preaching, singing God's glories. This nice life actually. Lord Shiva's Vihasa, but he's also like that. He doesn't even have a fixed home, right? He stays different places. Yes. No, he he also wanders. He always busy in hearing Krishna Kata goes with his wife everywhere, because he has no home. Although he is Grihastha, but uh, he, he dwells underneath tree, banyan tree. He has not constructed any house. Probably he told one story, you know, about that, you know, the story, that his wife was complaining, we have no house. <coughs> she just said, why are you complaining? He created a huge mansion. Then they had to have a big jagya to invite so many sadhus and demigods came. They were all taking prasad. Then they said, listen, now you have to give us dakshin. He said, I don't have dakshin. Take the house. <laughs> <laughs> so then he began. <laughs> Actually, real Vyastha is Lord Vishnu. <laughs> the host should be like that, not like like Shiva. Lakshmi is his wife. She serves everybody. 
very nice family of God. <laughs> <laughs> and when Rigu Muni kicked this personality of God, but was received and Krishna apologized. But wasn't he cursed to become the hunter of Jara? <laughs> So Maharaj, the reason why uh, Daksha had daughters was because Narayan Muni wouldn't preach to the Mataji's, <laughs> yeah, right? right? Mm -hmm. No, he first begot 10,000 sons. Mm -hmm. Then Narayan Muni made them Babaji. <laughs> he became very annoyed. But Lord Brahma pacified him. This is the nature of Narad, so he is increasing number of his disciples. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care, you just do your duty. <laughs> you should beget again. So he begot one thousand again. And they also reached the same place where their elder brothers have gone. And Narad Muni again reached. And he said, do you know where your brothers are and what they are doing? <laughs> they are very, very happy, very happy. They, 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 they were not entangled in household life. So you should also follow the path of your elder brothers. He spoke only ten subjects, Narayana. In ten minutes, 10,000 and 11,000 were <laughs> 10 things was taught by Narada I will speak at the house of Madhra Prabhu, what 10 subjects were taught by Narada Very essential points. So, Daksh Prajapati became very angry to Narada Muni. But Narad Muni thought that I, I had my mercy on Dhru Maharaj and also King Prachin Bari and this Daksh is in the same dynasty. So he went due to mercy to deliver Daksh Prajapati to say something. But when he saw Narad Muni, he did not receive, he did not welcome Narad Muni. Rather, he became very angry and cursed, so rebuking him. You are not sadhu. I surprised how you, are, you have a very nice position in, in the associates of Vishnu. They are very kind hearted and you are very hard hearted. <laughs> <laughs> You just uh, made my sons as beggars. I thought they would become king, uh, <laughs> but you made them beggars. <laughs> just I will never come to my home. Just go. And you will never become rehearsed. You will not uh, stay any lo longer at any place. Just wander here and there singing on Bindahari. <laughs> 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 so, after that, Daksh Prajapati just stopped to beget any child. Just stopped. Although he was created by Lord Brahma for creation, but Narad Muni <laughs> just stopped. So Daksh Prajapati was very morose, very unhappy with the behavior of Narad Muni. But Brahma Ji personally came to him and he said, Beta, you should beget a children. And he said, but again Narad will spoil my boys. <laughs> Why I should beget? Brahma Ji said, Okay, you beget uh, uh, girls. So Narad Muni will not make them sadhu. <laughs> <laughs> he 
नरम मुरी ने भर पीछे होल क्रिएशन इज फील्ड विद्रिंग्स ऑफ दिस डॉक्टर्स they are the mothers original mothers of every living being that's a great thank you very much for thank you sir thanks for thank you for coming maharaj we enjoy your class very much